Hey, Wolfman here. Uh, it's time to basically do a little maintenance on the old road bike. Uh, season is almost over and uh, basically the road bike handlebar tape, it's time for it to be replaced. Uh, I've had this on the bike for the past maybe three seasons. It's looking a little rough now. Um, it was originally a white tape. It's looking a little gray now and I'm missing one of the little um, um, caps that goes in the back that typically holds in the tape. So basically it's time to do a quick change out and I went ahead and ordered a by the brand BB. It's an EVA road bike handlebar tape. Um, and I'm just going to read off what it has. Uh, basically it just says it's ultra light, durable, quality absorbs shock and vibration during cycling, which is very important, especially if you're doing a long um, ride, because I typically will ride about to a 30 mile ride at a time. Uh, it says it's fade, water, and UV radiant resistant, and it uses 3M adhesive backing, so it says it should be easy to install. So uh, I'm going to take some time to take off the tape and then install the new tape and just take a look at it. Now the tape I'm replacing it with is going to be a black tape, so it should withstand um, basically just the dirt and grime you get from your hands from holding onto the handlebars for long rides and sweat. And I'm not sure how it's going to do if I wipe out on my bike because that's what took out some of my tape before. Wiping out, landing on the handlebars just about eh, once a year. So uh, we'll go ahead and give it a try. Okay, first I'm just going to go ahead and start with a removal. Uh, this folds back. Now I haven't done this in a few years, so I do know that the end tape probably will need to be cut off. So I always have a pair of scissors handy. Now, like I said, this has been the same tape I've used for the past couple of years on mine. And hopefully, and it's withstood a bit of abuse. Okay, that came off rather easy. Now this is my Fuji Sportif road bike. I've had this since 2012 and I probably replaced the tape on it. Ooh, I would guess probably at least three or four times in the time I've had it. So this is really the longest I've actually had the same tape on the bike I think because I didn't get as much riding done in the past couple of years over the course of uh, the pandemic kind of limiting my chances to get out uh, the old tapes coming off pretty easy now I'm thinking this old tape might have been looks like a cork made in cork tape and it worked fairly well the whole time I had it. I got one of those left. Okay. All right. Not sure if this is going to go as fast as uh, it does taking it off. But as you can see, it has an adhesive on the back that's going to pull off and it should allow it to stick directly to the handlebars. And what you're going to want to do is when you wrap this is to have it, as it goes through, overlap. Once you start it, and wrap around. What I'm probably going to do is go ahead and wrap one side first, give it a test uh, off camera, and then we'll do the other on camera. All right, I already got one side of the handlebars complete. Uh, didn't take too long, just took a moment to kind of remember how to do it. Uh, but basically, start from the bottom, wrap your way around, and at the end, you will apply the uh, uh, tape to keep it from coming out. And then, of course, you pop in the uh, peg at the end to keep it from unraveling from the other end. And then once you're done there, then you uh, drop this back over uh, from the braking mechanism to uh, cover the uh, tape. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other side. Uh, there's backing with, and right in between there's the adhesive. So we'll just go ahead and let that go loose. Now, when you start this, you wanna have it go around first a little on the uh, outside so that you'll have plenty of this that can be uh, pushed in there and uh, held in place with the, uh, the little end cap. And as you do this, you want to go at a diagonal where this adhesive part is just overlapping the last bit of the tape as you wrap it around. And make sure it's tight, but don't go too tight so that you don't have like a, create a gap between the tape. Now, this is like my first time to do this in a few years, so. So if it's your, if you've done this many times before, I'm probably going at this awkward and slow and you're probably thinking it's ridiculous the way I'm doing it, but maybe if this is your first time to do it, you might see me doing it and think, wow, that's not too bad. Could be a lot worse. And it has been a lot worse. Let's see. Now we get to this part here where you need to go over the uh, mechanism that change, helps you change gears as well as brake. Make that overlap a little bit. And then you're gonna kind of do the reverse. Now make sure it's tight around here. And then we're going over to this part of the handlebar, the top half. I said overlap it. Um, I'm really happy with the, the way this black tape looks. It should pretty much camouflage the uh, dirt and grime from your hands as you sweat while you're holding the bicycle handlebars. Because typically when I'm riding, I'm using the top of these. Now there's, I'm going to go ahead and trim this. So I always have a pair of scissors at the, at the ready. <clears throat> okay, and this comes with some tape. Now the thing is with this tape, it might not be enough. So I also have some black electrician's tape to help me finish things off if need be. I had to use it on the other one, on the other side, so I might end up eating it again. Let's just see. Actually, that looks like that worked out fine. Let me go ahead and pull this down. Covered. And here's that little end piece. Let's make sure everything folds in there. So that when I push this in, it'll hold that in nice and tight. All right, so I went ahead and got it taped up with fresh tape. Um, I think the black tape looks great. That's uh, gonna be a little different than, uh, it takes some getting used to because I've been driving, riding this with the white tape on it for years, like a decade now. So this should probably hold up a little better cleanliness wise. The true test, I guess, will be once I get out on the trails and uh, do my first 30 mile ride. But as you can see, uh, the end caps here uh, hold in the tape just perfectly fine. Um, it doesn't show um, so much uh, where the ends are once you wrap it with the other tape to keep it held in place. Um, I'm gonna be basically reattaching uh, my um, headlamp as well as my odometer to this bike uh, which I took off prior to uh, rewrapping it. So as I said uh, this is the BV road bike type and thanks for watching.